is my channel, The Good Guys. Guys, today's story is going to come out of New Orleans, and the title reads, Two Juveniles Shoot While Attempting Armed Robbery in Gentilly. Okay, this looks like the New Orleans Police Department. And let's hear what they have to say. Before we do, if you guys don't mind, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Remember, we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And if you don't mind helping me get there, we can all get there together. And I would appreciate it. Guys, if you, if, if you want to hit me up on Twitter, on Minds, and even I am on Truth Social. So, let us begin. He says four kids, one as young as 11, went on a crime spree this weekend. Two of those juveniles ended up in the hospital after police say one of their victims pulled out his own gun and shot them. Natasha Robin has more from Gentilly. For that to happen, it terrified everybody on this whole entire block. Very terrified everybody because we're not used to this. Police say four juveniles between the ages of 16 and just 11 years old went on a crime spree Sunday. It was here in the 49. 49 16 and 11 years old. Oh, great. 16 and 11 years old. Let's let me. I just had to pause it there. Let's let's move on. 900 block of Eastern Street in Gentilly where investigators say they pulled up in a red SUV behind a man pulling into a driveway. They approached him, and when they approached him, they had some words and everything. Then out the blue, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the, the young man tried to rob him, and that's when he defended himself by shooting back. Investigators say around 4 in the afternoon, two of the young gunmen got out of the SUV and tried to rob the victim. That's when police say the victim pulled out his own gun. <laughs> fired at the suspects. Two of them, a 13 and 11 year old, were shot in the leg. They jumped back into the red SUV and took off. Neighbors heard the gunfire and ran outside. Came out, looked down the street, seen an automobile coming down the street, hit, hit a tree, then it hit this light pole right here. Four young men jumped out, ran down the street. All Officers say they located the four juveniles a couple of blocks away at Selma Street and Peoples Avenue. The red SUV investigators say was reported stolen earlier Sunday from Press Drive. Guys, so what we have here, check this out. Let's say you are doing something in your garage. Let's say you're doing something in your driveway. Let's say you are doing gardening, whatever it may be, you're outside. I'm going to ask you a question. Should you be armed? Guys, I've come to the opinion and to the point where even when I go to check my mail, I am armed. These jokers can strike at any time. And trust me, what they do is they try to strike when you are at your most vulnerable that is when they choose to strike. These guys are assholes. They are animals. Okay. 13, 11, 16 years old. We don't know the age of the fourth subtech. But guys, uh, I don't feel pity for these people. Um, I, I just commented on an article from Victor Tabali from The Trace. You guys can go and check that out. That's in my um, Anti-Gunner Chronicles. And I talk about, they talk about, do you guys ever think about what it took for that young man to get to this point to pick up a gun? N me? No. I don't ever think about it. Because guess what? I don't give a shit. Okay? I don't care at that moment in time. I don't. Because guess what? They are trying to rob me of my pursuit of happiness. Whether that be my life, whether that be my property, whether that be my family, okay? That's what they're trying to do. Take something that's not theirs. And we are lucky. We are 
fortunate enough to see that this good guy, this guy who's at his crib, they he sees it, he recognizes, and he unloads like he should have. I don't care if they are 10, 4, 5 years old. They are all little heathens and they can all take your life. They can all take your family's life. Trust me. I know that sounds cruel. But folks, what are you going to do when no one else is doing anything about these children? Their own parents. Where are they? 11 years old? 13 or 14? 16 years old? How did this guy get a car? And the car was stolen. They must have been obviously just down bad. Those are those are people you don't talk to them. You don't talk to them. I, I think it's a high time where we get past this talk. We have to punish these people. That's what they need. Punishment. Okay, I, I, I feel like I sound like the punisher, right? Okay. They need to be disciplined. And in some cases, some of these assholes, they are so bad, they got no problem killing you. And in that case, you know what needs to happen? Not life in prison. Fuck that. Give them the goddamn electric chair, okay? I, I honestly believe they should get rid of this lethal injection, this lethal cocktail. Yes, I've heard it. it, it it's even more excruciating and pain and it simulates a heart attack and all that jazz. No, 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 no. Do something very clean and efficient because every single time I hear, oh, this drug, this lethal cocktail, we can't get enough of it. Oh, it's on back order. What the fuck? What? On back order? This is the, the only thing that this thing does is kill people. And it's on back order? Please. Okay? So that's why we should bring back the electric chair to get rid of some of these heathens, some of these animals. And I'm so glad that this neighbor, this homeowner, this good guy was able to use his firearm and protect himself, his family, his life, pursuit of happiness, all that jazz. Let's hear the rest of what happened. Then they say the young gunman used the same vehicle to commit an attempted robbery in the 2400 block of J Street, and then an armed carjacking in the 6400 block of Painter Street. In this neighborhood, I usually don't have any crime or anything, but uh, that's how the city going right now is pretty much all over the city, it can be anywhere. People who live in the area say they're fed up with juvenile Now it's pretty much, pretty much all over the city, it can be anywhere. People who live in the area say they're fed up with Jews. Really don't have the knowledge to know what they're doing is wrong. They just don't, they don't have the knowledge. They, they're not being taught right. Police say the 13 and 11 year old are being treated at the hospital. When they're released, police say they'll be transported to the Juvenile Justice Intervention Center. In Gentilly, Natasha Robb and Fox 8, guys sorry about that what happened to the video i didn't i didn't know that it was uh i don't know what that was i guess it didn't load but we did get some more information there and the information was that these guys were on a crime spree they're on a crime spree going from two in there robbing this person that person do we have, I, I don't have sympathy for these individuals. I don't care how old they are. I don't care how young they are. I don't. I really don't. Okay. I got to say, there has to be something to be done about these juveniles that just run amok. Because what, end up, what ends up happening is that these guys will get a slap on the wrist and they'll come back out before they're 18. They will not learn from this lesson, okay? The justice the justice system does not teach lessons. They don't do that, okay? And when they get back out, they become even worse. Even worse. 
I I I I don't know. I don't know what can be done in some of these neighborhoods. We think about the police. The police are a very good good um tool to combat some of this. But in the end, guys, it has to be the people. The people have to do something about this. Okay? That means villages will have to learn how to fight. I remember there was an episode, okay? Um I'm going to go a little bit off topic uh called in uh, uh an episode in Star Wars called uh, in a show called The Mandalorian. Okay? I don't know if you guys ever heard of this show. You probably have, okay? And in the first season, okay? I'm going to type here season one, season one, okay? In the first season, there was an episode where he, excuse me, my virus again, he went to a village, okay? And when he went to this village, the village gave him a little bit of uh, sanctuary and he was able to... Um, Teach the village how to basically to fight for themselves. Okay. And uh, I loved the episode because it, it symbolizes, in my opinion, what needs to happen in, um, I think, in modern day society. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can see it. Where is it? It's not this one, the Jedi, the season. It should be season one. Okay, I I know this is going way off topic, but uh, clients rewards and wound complications. I ain't tracked down. Eating bad. Oh boy, I, don't, I can't. I don't think I can find it. Anyway. Okay, and there's many different cases and many different um the the tale has been um told before, okay? Um and Samurai Jack um he taught those guys to jump. Uh, he, they taught him how to jump good and he taught the village how to defend themselves from the robbers and I I just I just think that's what needs to happen, honestly, okay? The people are going to have to rise up against these hoodlums, against the crime members. And yes, you will not get out unscathed. You will not come out of there without a scratch. People will be hurt. But in the end, you will beat back that nonsense. There's more regular folk than, um, than the hoodlums. Okay? And that means that good people, good people should have guns, okay? I sound like a broken record. And people don't like that I say that. But good people should always have guns for the simple reason of defending yourself, your family, okay? And your pursuit of happiness, it is what is needed because if good men do nothing, there will be no good guys.